Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Matt with the Hardcover Comic, and I know you came here to check out John Burns' Man of Steel Volume 2, but before we dive into that, I wanted to let everybody know that we are now brought to you by OrganicPricedBooks.com. If you're not familiar with them, they are a brand new company that has excellent customer service, lightning fast shipping, and they offer really competitive discounts compared to some of their competitors like IST and cheap graphic novels. So if you're looking for a brand new company to earn your business, check out OrganicPricedBooks.com. And if they don't have what you're looking for, go ahead and message JP. He's quick to reply. Once again, that excellent customer service. So again, that is OrganicPricedBooks.com. Now, before we go any further, we do have a Patreon account where we do a monthly giveaway, usually omnibuses, gift cards, what have you, resulting in usually $100 or more in value. And the more patrons we have, the more we give away. So be sure to check us out on Patreon if you haven't already. As little as $1 will earn you an entry to our giveaway that we do every single month. As a matter of fact, we're going to be doing February's giveaway here probably in the next day or so. So be sure to check out Patreon so you could be next up to possibly win one of our fabulous prizes that we do every single month. Also, we are almost to that 10,000 subscriber mark. We are quickly approaching it. Once we do, we are giving some books away. But in order to do that, we got to hit the 10K mark. We're just under 500 shy, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe with your friends so we can hit that 10K mark. Again, give back and give some more books away. But that's enough of all that. Let's dive into John Byrne's Man of Steel, Volume 2. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Superman, The Man of Steel, Volume 2. John Byrne, a couple of uh, side stories by Marv Wolfman, some really good art, not only by John Byrne, but also Jerry Ordway, and some inks and things by Carl Kessel. Uh, so this is a little bit thicker than uh, Volume 1 was. Volume 1 was a little bit thinner than this. So Volume 2 is a little bit more story. There's the back there. And the price on this book runs $49.99 US, which obviously, if you go to organicpricebooks.com, just kidding, you can go anywhere and you guys can obviously get it for a little bit less expensive price. Uh, but cover price is about 50 bucks. Um, and this one is going to collect Superman number 5 through 11, Action Comics 588 to 593, Adventures of Superman 429 to 435, Legion of Superheroes 3738, and then a couple of profiles from the Who's Who Update 87. Um, so there's more than 500 pages in this book. So like I said, it is a little bit thicker than volume one, which is really exciting. Um, so overall the design pretty consistent with volume one, a little bit of a change of color, but as far as like the spine and stuff goes, it's exactly the same, but instead of that kind of blue and white, you got a little bit of like a yellow and red. Uh, so it still looks really nice and uniform on your shelf when they're sitting next to each other. Um, the other thing, too, about this, obviously, is that it is a standard hardcover, just like Volume 1 was. It is a standard hardcover. Um, so here's some art here on the cover board here. It is not a wraparound, so it has separate art on the front and back. Open it up. Again, some really nice art on the inside of the cover boards. I always like it when they do that. It's just kind of a nice little added touch. You got your title page here. Now, the pages in this are the matte pages or like that kind of almost newspaper type print, which I love. A lot of people hate. They prefer glossy and things like that. They think the colors pop more. And I get it. It, it does do a degree. But when I'm reading older books... I prefer that matte newspaper kind of style print just due to the fact that it really kind of takes me back to my childhood. So here we go. Here's your table of contents. You got a little intro here by Mike Carlin from back in 2006. And then we dive right into Superman number five. So it's also nice to see that the second volume actually did come out. The third one, I believe, has been solicited. Um, so fingers crossed, DC is going to keep pumping these out. That's exciting. I mean, I know it's not the Omni that we were all wanting. I know it's not oversized like a lot of us were hoping for. Uh, but it is definitely a step up from those old trade paperbacks that we did have. Um, if these weren't coming out, I was going to end up trying to custom bind the set myself. 
Um, I was actually going to work on collecting the trade paperbacks probably and then custom bind those. Uh, but as you guys probably know, a lot of those trade paperbacks are out of print and a little more expensive to get. So I'm really glad that DC started pumping these out. Ah, so you got Superman with this five o'clock shadow. Kind of reminds me of Tyler Hochin. Is that how you pronounce the name? Hochin? Hochin? Uh, you know, the current Superman on Superman and Lois on the CW, which by the way, episode one, it was really good. I was honestly shocked. Mike and I talked about it on a live show. We really didn't think that it was going to be that good. And so when I told Mike that he needed to watch it, cause I had seen it and I was actually kind of blown away by it. Um, I told Mike that he needed to watch it and, uh, he was dreading it. He did not want to watch it, but he did, he did. And, uh, he was absolutely blown away as well. So it was actually really well done. I'm excited to see where that show goes. So this is obviously all post crisis Superman, you know, is the, this, uh, obviously not volume two, but starting with volume one and then going into volume two, et cetera, is a really, really, really great jumping on point for brand new DC readers and brand new Superman readers. Uh, for myself personally, this was actually, I don't want to say my introduction into Superman, but this is where I really got into Superman. Uh, cause growing up, I was never a big fan of Superman. I think a lot of us probably felt that way. He was just seemed like a, you know, too overpowered of a character. Didn't really seem like someone that I would enjoy reading. I was more into Spider-Man and Batman and, and that kind of stuff, you know, characters with flaws. And, uh, so I wasn't really super into Superman, but Superman is actually one of Mike's favorite characters. And, you know, Mike had said, I, I had asked him, you know, years ago, I said, what's a good, you know, Superman jumping on point. Ah, the metal men got to love the metal men. And, uh, Mike said, Oh, read all-star Superman. So I got the absolute and I read all-star Superman and I was absolutely blown away. It was a really, really good story. It was a great introduction for me into, uh, you know, the man of steel and I really enjoyed it. And so from there on, I kind of started asking around and asking everybody, you know, What's another great, you know, run for me to read? And everybody said, you got to check out John Byrne's Superman. And they weren't wrong. It is a fantastic, fantastic jumping on point. Um, so if you're curious about the character, this is it. You, This is the creme de la creme right here of Superman. It's probably honestly some of the best Superman stories out there, in my opinion. Um, I think a lot of people would probably agree with that. Jerry Ordway's stuff was really awesome as well. Like Superman Exile, that omnibus was great. Um, but yeah, this is like the some of the greatest uh, Superman stories out there, in my opinion. At least that I've read. I haven't read everything, obviously. But from what I have read, this is definitely up there for me. Now, John Byrne draws the Joker. That one's not as bad because it's kind of more like the Joker Superman. But if I find a page later on here, I'll kind of show you guys his Joker. Oh, there it is. Prime example right there. His Joker. I, I love John Byrne and I love John Byrne's art, but his Joker, mm, not, not, uh, not the greatest. I just, there's something about the way he like draws his face and stuff. I'm just not a fan of his interpretation of the Joker. Uh, but I mean, hell, I love everything else the man draws. So what are you going to do? Got some nice big Barda action going on here. And I actually bought this book about a month or so ago, and I just realized that I never did an overview on this. So I thought I would put something together for you guys. So you guys can, you know, maybe those that were on the fence about it, not really sure, you guys can check it out. Again, it's a really great buy, especially for the price, because obviously you're not going to be paying cover price. So it truly is a really, really um, great buy. And I, and I do highly recommend picking up volume one if you haven't picked that one up yet and then get volume two. And, you know, by buying them, instead of just waiting to see if volume three comes, volume four comes, etc., buying them is going to help ensure that volumes three, four, five, etc., cetera, uh, do get released because it means that they're selling. Whereas if a lot of people are waiting to see, oh, well, does volume five come out or volume four, it's going to, you know, it could potentially hurt our chances. 
So that is that. There is the back art for the cover board. Get your who's who action back here. And then overall, as far as the build of the book, it is a glued binding. Let me just prompt that open there. As you guys can see, there is no eye hole or anything there. Um, it is glued, so it doesn't flex or anything like that. Um, but again, it's a smaller book. I don't think you really necessarily need to have it. There's not really money, uh, really any gutter loss because of the way that they did the edges. Um, with, you know, kind of putting the borders and things in there. So that does help and mitigate a lot of that uh, gutter loss that you might have otherwise. And there's also not a lot of like big splash pages either. So, I mean, back in the day, they didn't, that wasn't really a thing that happened a whole lot. So, but there you guys have it. Check it out. Overall, Superman, Man of Steel, Volume 2, John Byrne. If you guys have any questions, uh, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Check out organicpricebooks.com and we'll see you guys next time.